Hello and welcome to Flowers by Jenna May. You may be watching from YouTube today. You may be watching from the DIY flower designer community. Today we're going to do a really fun little honey pot flower arrangement. Um, this is going to have some crazy fun mechanics, okay? Um, they're very creative, all right? So it's going to be a fun arrangement to make. Really, really simple. What we're going to do first is we're going to grid out this little honeybee pot. This already has water in it, and we're going to just treat this arrangement kind of like a little vase. Let me find my tape end here. Where did it go? Here it is. Okay, we found it. Whew. So this is uh, wet tape, you guys. Wet tape is the florist duct tape. You want it in your life. Maybe you are a DIY flower designer. Maybe you're just starting out in the flower world. This stuff is like you really want it, okay? Um, it definitely, it's wet tape, so if it gets wet, it still remains sticky, okay? It's amazing stuff. You want it in your life, <laughs> okay? So we're just doing a small little tape grid here. We're not going to have a ton of greens in this arrangement. We're going mostly flowers, and so we're definitely going to... Um, want to make sure that you have the grid because this is going to take up the space that usually the flowers and filler would do. So it's just a way to kind of fill the space and keep flowers in place. If you're just learning how to do a vase arrangement, sometimes this can kind of help as a support until you get your weaving down really good. So I really do like this technique. It's kind of fun, especially if I get a funky vase like this where it's just a smaller container and I want to be able to um if I don't want to have if I don't want to use oasis or some other mechanic then this is where I'm going to use a tape method okay so that's kind of where tape method kind of comes in we're going to want to make sure that this is not seen so you're going to want to make sure your flowers are covering this we like to cover our mechanics and floral design so we're just going to try to make sure we do that okay this is going to be such a cute fun very simple flower arrangement but we're kind of gonna put some fun things in it okay so i've got these little pearly cute pins look at this this is just going to kind of elevate our flowers just a little bit you don't have to put this in you can do all natural flower design but sometimes i like to do just things that are very um there's a lot to it so this is kind of just where someone's gonna be like oh what's that it's kind of pretty little pearl in there and it's going right into the flower so there's actually nothing even to tape okay if there was let's say you accidentally didn't get it through the stem then we might use some uh, flower tape to tape it I want to use this one for that I think okay we're just gonna put these in these little details are what just makes people go oh that's so cute so different I haven't seen that before right just little tiny details you guys I am a Virgo and Virgos like very detailed ornate things so that's kind of how it comes through in my designer style all of us have a different creativity and designer style and I just say embrace yours, whatever it is. If you're like, Jen, pens aren't my thing or you don't like to do tiny little details, that's okay. Find your flow and go with that for flower design. It's gonna be more enjoyable for you that way. All right, let's just do a couple more. I think we're gonna have about five or so of these. And I'm just gonna put the pin in the mums. Not that one though, because it's gonna not go through the stem and I don't wanna have to cover it up. Keep it simple that way. Keep it simple, right? Little tiny details, so, so cute, right? So we've got those going. We've got these beautiful little baby carns. I love this peach texture, you guys. They're so pretty. They're just adorable. They look so lacy. I know carns kind of get not the best rap, right? People are like, oh, they're cheaper and those kinds of things, but they have come out with so many beautiful colors and little carns that I just love them. They add a fun texture to arrangements with these little buds on the minis. So you have the little buds that come with it. So it gives it an uh, interesting texture in the arrangement if you're doing all flowers. So I kind of like to pay attention to those little details. Also, we've got these gorgeous, I gotta dig down a little deeper. <laughs> I was trying to keep these really nice and cold this overnight. I've got these gorgeous blown toffee roses, you guys. I think that's what I'm gonna call them. I, they're taupe, whatever, but I love them. They're so beautiful. When you take one of these petals off, I just love it because at the very bottom, look at, there's this gorgeous yellow. It's so pretty. These are just absolutely stunning. We're gonna pop these in and they're gonna be absolutely gorgeous in here, okay? So yeah, those roses, look at them. They're just singing. They're just so excited to go in this flower arrangement. So we're gonna pop in the roses and I'm gonna just kind of mirror them. 
I'm gonna do one on one side and one on the other, okay? And then we're gonna kind of group the other flowers. I'm gonna do mums on one side and carns on the other. Now, sometimes I might sporadically do them all different, but I'm wanting this to kind of look like a garden, okay? So I'm gonna keep it like a garden arrangement where I'm gonna group everything on one side and kind of build it from there. So we've got these gorgeous little mums going in. I love this color. They kind of are singing fall to me. I kind of think this arrangement's like summer meets fall just a little bit. As the seasons change, we start to see it come out in flowers first. So kind of fun, right? We're still, we're still in summer, but we're getting to that point where it will be fall. And so I think that's what's kind of coming across in the flowers right now. So this is gonna be a really simple arrangement, you guys. Super, super simple. It's got some gorgeous detailing to it. It's gonna be really, really beautiful. And the gorgeous roses are doing a great job on um, covering up all of the, the wet tape that we have here. So that's amazing. I'm just gonna create a very leafy texture with these gorgeous cards right in here. I'm gonna do another card right here, I think. Oop, needs to be a little shorter, a little shorter. See, we are, are always, you know, changing our design style just a little bit or having to rearrange the arrangement. Just kind of go with the flow of the arrangement. It's gonna flow better that way if you can kind of just let it go. I love flowers, oh my goodness. This is gonna be so darling. And we have fun little other things that I'm gonna put in here, okay? So this was like a little honey pot that I got, okay? So super cute. We've got the little honey, like little thing that comes with it. And what I did is I just wrapped some wire around here. We're gonna attach it to a stem that's gonna go into the water, okay? We're gonna use plain flower tape for this. This is kind of a different mechanic. We might have to mess with it a little bit because I don't know how exactly how it's gonna go. Um, but I think it's gonna actually work pretty well. Just kind of that tape, that flower tape. Let's see if we can get it to stick. I think it's gonna go. It's gonna just take a minute. So with, with flower tape, you gotta kind of warm it up in your hands. It's got wax on it. And that's what kind of makes it stick to each other is when the wax gets warm. So I've got the tape on there. It's holding it in place. I'm gonna cut the end of the flower stem so it can get water through here. And then I'm just gonna place this really cute little honey pot right in there, okay? And it's gonna kind of give it a little bit of an interest, okay? The last crazy mechanic I have for you guys, and I say it might look crazy, but it's gonna work, I'm pretty sure, okay? So I took hot glue and I glued a carnation stem into this lid. So I can put this lid right on top of this arrangement, okay? So we're gonna see if it works. I think it will, okay? Crazy good mechanic. It's kind of something different. People would be like, really, how'd you get it in there? You could use a wooden dowel. You could use anything you have on hand, okay? And I just kind of cut this little stem. We're gonna kind of just, let's see if I can just get it. There's one little spot. It's right there. There we go. It worked, you guys. Oh my goodness, how cute is this? I'm gonna pick it up so you can kind of see. Look it. It's got the little bee lid on top. We've got the little honeycomb here. We've got the pearly little pins that are tying in the white. Just look at how cute. Isn't that so cute? This would be such a cute centerpiece. You can see right here, I might need to do a little bit more filling. Let's do that, okay? We don't wanna see those that green teeth there. So let's do a little bit. I'm gonna use these because this is what I got left. So we're gonna just put these in there to cover up the green tape. The big thing with flower design, you wanna make sure you cover up those crazy good mechanics. Okay, look it, I'll show you again. There's the green tape all filled up. How adorable is this little arrangement? Oh my goodness, so fun. I hope you enjoyed this video today. If you're watching from YouTube, like, share, and subscribe. If you're watching from the DIY, or DIY flower designer community, thank you so much for being a part of the amazing community. I hope you guys have a beautiful flowery day and we'll see you in the next video. Bye now.